welcome back to On the Record. Um, we're at the Rackspace Leadership Summit, and I'm here with Ikram Masabini. Ikram, welcome to the show. Thank you, Nesta. Great to have you here. And the name of his company is MVP, and I guess it's kind of apropos for that since tonight he's going to be receiving the reward from Rackspace as basically the MVP or the emerging, emerging, emerging partner um, of the year for email and apps. That's right. That's Congratulations. That's, it's always nice to win, win awards, um, especially if it means somehow down the line you'll be able to leverage that to make more money, right? That's the whole idea. Right? Absolutely. Good boy. Okay. So now that we're on the same page, tell me a little bit about your business because it's really interesting. And, um, so you're a VAR and that's what most of our audience is. So what do you do? We're a VAR uh, and we do managed services for our clients. We have three distinct divisions in our company. One being uh, a telephony division. We're an Avaya dealer. So we do infrastructure wiring. We maintain, uh, if they want, voice over IP solutions or traditional uh, phone systems. We try to help them uh, converge their technology. Uh, the second division is uh, the managed services division. And we, uh, we're an HP house, so we install PC servers. And that's where we took it to the next level and, and uh, looked at Rackspace to become more uh, of a hosted solution for our clients. And the last piece is a development. Division and we're an SAP Business One house, and we also custom develop applications for our clients. So let's go into the MSP part for a minute. So I assume you're working on a recurring revenue model in there. Absolutely. And does that mean are you actually at the point yet where you can wake up in the morning on what, what month are we in now? October, so November first, and say, "Well, I've already made my budget for, the, or at least made enough to cover my overheads for the month." Yes. We're lucky enough. Why? And believe why it's right. Like, all of a sudden, it pays to be a, a VAR, does it? <laughs> it's a change, but uh, we're, we're getting used to it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not that hard to get used to that part, <laughs> is it? It's when it goes the other way. Um, what would you say for the people, and there's so many of them out there, who are VARs or system integrators or whatever they want to call themselves, but they haven't taken that step forward? Would you recommend it? I do. I mean, it's a passion of ours. Uh, I, I love what we do. I don't work. Uh, I tell all our, our uh, employees and our clients that, you know, we do. Uh, it's, a, it's a way of life for us. So we try to always come up with new ideas for them to use technology better, to converge their technology so that phones talk to their applications so that everything works seamlessly. So uh, if you like it, definitely do it. But moreover, it gives you a life. As a VAR. Like, I mean, I've got so many friends who are VARs and I hate going out making plans with them because it's always, you know, but yeah, we can get together Saturday night and Saturday night comes, I'm still at a client's. Well, how long are you going to be? I don't even bother asking that anymore because it's up till it's fixed. Right. Okay, well, is that three days or 12 days? Well, yeah, it could be one of those. Yeah. You know? And now, that I, I'm not saying it will go away completely, but it's going to go away. That takes me 90% of it. It does. Uh, with a good, we use Kaseya as our backend uh, software, and uh, everybody's Kaseya is different because Kaseya allows you to have your own scripts built in, and because we have a development arm, we've built close to fifteen hundred additional scripts in Kaseya to to keep the network up and running. And that's really how we we try to position ourselves as we're going to not only take the network issues away uh, and make you sleep at night and guarantee backup and give you a great SLA, but because we're able to do that. Uh, all our help desk people that work remotely can handle a lot more nodes at the same time. So they can handle, usually a tech could handle a hundred PCs, then you need to hire another mm -hmm. tech. Uh, with a managed services uh, offering, with the same tech you could handle close to 600 PCs. So that's exponential. Uh, it's better service. You don't have to drive. It costs us less and we offer better service. And at the end of the day, how many of your customers have quit on you because you tried to sell the managed services? Well, we don't force it, uh, but all our big clients uh, have been converted to managed services. And the ones that you did approach with it and talk to them about today, say, oh, you know, you're just trying to sell me something and walk away from you? It, a lot of them, uh, that happened with uh, even the big clients at first. Uh, I mean, you know, you keep running at but the did wall. You, did they actually leave you? No, they, they didn't leave us. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, the fear that everybody's feeling. So now we go into the next stage, which is the cloud. Right. And now all of a sudden you're saying to them, hey, not only are we not going to come in and see you as often, or so it seems, 
but now we're going to take away your, your database and your all your storage and your you know and your security is going to be done from some other place. Um, are you getting a lot of pushback? Uh, depends on the client. Uh, it, in healthcare, we're not. Healthcare are really embracing the cloud because they need to be up all the time. Uh, they can't afford to be down, and they really can't afford to buy uh, an infrastructure like Rackspace has, which, which we leverage, and we put Rackspace all over our our materials to let them know that. Uh, the network is redundant, uh, the connectivity to the network is redundant, uh, th there is clusters of servers that your application is going to reside on, and if you can't be down, we can guarantee you uptime. But if you have one server with an application on it, eventually you'll be down. If that's okay, then it's usually a smaller client, so they don't want to look at uh, uh, anything else, they want to, it's a break fixed, fixed type of a model. Even those clients go to managed services, they don't go to the cloud. But uh, Mostly, uh, the cloud has been very successful for us. And you use Rackspace, is that exclusively? Yes. Why Rackspace? Uh, well, we looked at, we, we, had, we tried others uh, okay. and uh, ended up with Rackspace and so far their fanatical support have been fantastic. Yeah, it's funny, like, I mean, here we are down at their event and you, you can just feel that buzz in the air. Like you, like I go to a lot of events and sometimes you hear at the events people just sitting around and, and even though it's, they're hosting the event or whatever else, you hear them in little corners talking about, Ugh, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Here the only thing that you hear them talking about is the service, the service, right. the service, the service, the service. Um, service is fantastic. Uh, you get to talk to somebody right away, uh, they help you out right away. Uh, and that's all you can ask for. Everybody's going to have issues, right? Nobody's perfect. No network. Uh, I mean, they're PCs. That's why we're in business. Uh, but uh, when they have any downtime, they're usually up really quickly. Nobody feels it. Uh, their clusters are, are definitely redundant, and they, they do what they say they're going to do. Terrific. On that note, I want to thank you, and congratulations once again. Thank you very on much. Being Pleasure. The, the MVP from MVP. That's right. <laughs>